Today is a very exciting episode of Pump Sims because we're about to start the first episode of gameplay. I'm so excited to see what happens. I don't know if they will love each other or hate each other, but we will figure it out as we go. Soon I'll also start building the next apartment block in Pump Sims, directly next to the outer circle actually, so feel free to leave more storyline suggestions down below. Remember, we have to fill up the entire world of Del Sol Valley, so there is still a long way to go. All right, it's time to head into the game and start some gameplay. Welcome to a Saturday morning in Palm Sims. This is the Outer Circle Apartments. We have just spent the last six episodes, I believe, making the families in Cass and then furnishing their apartments. This is basically an overview of what we've done so far, but I would highly recommend you go back and check out the previous episodes just to get a feeling for the characters. We have six very different personalities in here. Look at this. Look at Annette, very much in character, making a mess on the floor. And then we have three more households down here. So yes, Go and check out the previous videos to get a feeling for who they are, what they're about. And in this first episode of gameplay, I think it would be smart to establish their stories, their characters, their careers, all of that jazz. So we'll go one by one, start establishing their lives, and then maybe in the next episode, we can actually start to make everyone interlink and give them actual relationships with each other. So let's start with our first family down here. This is Sharon and Rowan Hill. A little quick overview, Sharon is an aspiring actress. She has her little station here where she practices lines. That obviously needs to be a priority for us. Let's go and give her the acting career. Okay, so Sharon's career, definitely actress. Do we have any options? No, okay. I don't think I've ever played the acting career, so I'm very intrigued how this is gonna go. Okay, we get to pick an agency. AI staffing agency or everyday extras talent agency. Let's do extras. Let's give Sharon a little slow start to the career. And look, she has already prepared breakfast for the two of them, so let's have them eat breakfast together. Remember, Sharon is an amazing single mom, so Rowan, I really want him to be, what have we put in his bedroom? We've given him some sports stuff. Think maybe he's also quite creative, but we do want them to have a really great relationship together. After breakfast, it's time for Rowan to... What? Rowan has already done his homework. He must have done that autonomously. Wow, impressive. And then after breakfast, let's get you over to the gym, play <laughs> not with Granny Smith. Okay, Sharon, and what can you do to kickstart your career? Check open auditions. Also, do you want to know something so funny? I had to delete the cat before I downloaded the MC Command Center because I needed to maximize the eight sims perhaps. Household. So now we just have a bunch of random cat stuff and no cat. <laughs> Ooh, okay, which audition? Salty Suds commercial, Vladislaus Hardware, or the preclinical pharmaceuticals? I don't think she has any of these three skills, but I would imagine charisma is probably the easiest one to get. No, maybe comedy. So let's give you the preclinical one. Okay, you have until Monday, Sharon, to up your comedy skills. So let's have you over to the mirror. You can't do it in the mirror. I need a sim. <laughs> Look how Granny Smith is walking. It's so unrealistic when Sims do that. Okay, we do need a Sim for Sharon to practice her jokes on. Alvin, perfect, because Alvin is our entertainer. So I imagine Alvin has a great sense of humor. So Sharon, let's befriend Alvin and then you can practice your jokes. And why is it neighborhood brawl tonight? Now literally all of my Sims are gonna be sad because I am not participating in that. Tell joke about penguins because there are so many penguins in Palm Sims. More jokes, joke about politicians more jokes, funny. All right, you can tell a gross joke. Okay, so that is Sharon sorted. Now let's head over to personally one of my favorites, Iris and Taylor. So this is their apartment. It's super cool, eclectic, young, trendy. We used a lot of eco living stuff here and I think it came together really, really well. So as a quick recap, Taylor is our aspiring YouTuber. So maybe let's get Taylor. Ooh, here they are, both of them in their summer outfits. So this is Iris here. Iris is our aspiring DJ, so we'll get her to mix some music in a second. And Taylor here is our influencer, YouTuber. Both of them are definitely aspiring, so they haven't quite made it just yet. We're working on it. So Taylor, let's send you over here. I also have never used this piece of equipment before, so this is actually a first time for me for pretty much everything. So study trends, record video, post updates, buy add-ons, adjust lights. Maybe study trends. Ooh, this is so fun. Let's do fashion tips today. Cool. Oh, that's fun. Okay, then we have Iris here. Guys, I just realized 
We have two bread bins. Did anybody notice that in my decorating video, I gave them two bread bins? Oops. I was gonna say, maybe we make up a storyline there, but that's weird. Let's delete one. Okay, anyway, back to Iris. And this is Iris's room. So we have her obviously as the aspiring DJ. Okay, so what can we do with this station? Produce new track, burn track, remix track. But you don't have any music. So let's do, ooh, none of those three genres really sound like Iris's genre. Let's do rebinds. I'm just intrigued to see how they use this equipment. All right, here we go. So this is a productive Saturday for both of them. <gasps> the following are now trending. Beauty reviews, gourmet cooking, video gaming, angry vlogs. Angry vlogs. These same topics should be trending for another couple of days. Oh shoot, we're doing fashion reviews, I think. So we need we need to change it to beauty reviews and, I, and maybe video gaming. Why are you waving your hands like that? What is wrong now? Okay, we've changed it. So now she is recording beauty reviews and and look, she actually stands in front of the camera with beauty products in front. I love that. Okay, you do your thing, Taylor. Back to Iris, who is looking so cool recording music. You're getting a bit stinky, so let's go and give you a shower when you're done. Okay, let's check on Sharon again, who is now mingling with the community. I love it. Right, Sharon, how is your comedy coming along? Oh, grumpy Granny Smith is running past us. Is she gonna get involved in the community? No, she walks right past. Okay, what is your comedy at now? Two! We did it! Okay, well that took no time at all. Okay, let me introduce you to the third household then. This is Mitch and Ted Collins. This is Mitch here, I believe. Ted, my memory is so bad. So this is Ted right here. Ted is our elder sim. What is going on? Why are you walking through the curtains? So this is Mitch and Ted Collins. Mitch is our elder sim. He is a washed up actor. He used to be a big deal back in the day, but his management kind of screwed him over a little bit. So he is a struggling now. And he is married to Mitch here. And Mitch is our private investigator. So let me show you actually his little office. So this is Mitch's private office. It's more just for storing papers and stuff. This is just his overflow space. And there is a little teaser for one of their storylines here. Basically, they're in the process of adoption. So they are about to adopt a little baby. This is where they painted a few swatches for the nursery, but maybe you can tell from their apartment, but basically they are in the process of moving out. So this is a one bed, which is definitely not enough for them when they adopt the baby. So they are slowly starting to pack up their stuff and they will be relocating to a bigger apartment. Maybe we actually get them to move into the apartment block next door. I'm planning to do another apartment here and it's actually gonna be much bigger, maybe even with a pool. So maybe we can say Mitch and Ted Collins are moving over there. All right, neither of them are doing so well at the moment. So let's have you cook. I feel like Ted is a really good cook. So maybe let's give them tofu tacos for lunch. Ooh, what do you want to call this video? Beauty review video. Let's do my first review. My first review, Beauty World Cosmetics. Beauty World Cosmetics, vegan clean and simple products for everyday use. Done. All right, please excuse the mess. Remember they are in the process of moving out, but we do need to establish Mitch as an investigator. So career, <gasps> ooh, we have a video station video. Back to Taylor. Okay, our video is done now for Taylor. So let's do post updates, hype next video, edit video. Let's see what happens with edit video. Oh, the quality is poor. <gasps> oh no, I thought it would be easy. All right, maybe it improves it when we edit it. Let's see. Nanny, you are standing in the basketball court. <laughs> okay, let me all introduce you to Nanny Smith because she is a character. So this is where she lives. She lives on her own. She is unhappy, lonely, bitter, sour. She used to be married to a very successful Hollywood actor and they went through a nasty divorce and now she's just really sour about it. But she does really miss the high life. So we gave her a little private vanity area back here. She likes to dress up in ball gowns, actually. Okay, meanwhile, Taylor seems to be doing a good job. Our media production skill is still one but it is going up and is our video still poor fair it's going up okay good oh no Nanny Smith, what are you doing? Nanny Smith looks really dirty. I don't know if it's the custom content that she's wearing, but you need to change into your normal clothes. Here you're getting a sneak preview of what I mean. This is actually in her everyday outfit. And hang on, I just saw a notification. It said, the video has been successfully edited and can't be edited anymore. Fair enough. 
No one's first video is amazing. So you go get yourself some breakfast, Taylor, and then we will come back and upload it. Oh, what is Sharon doing? Hang on, she's kneeling? I didn't know Sims could kneel. Oh, she's watching the Kids Network. Well, you should be watching that with Rowan. Let's have them watch a cute movie together. Let's watch Lost Dog's Journey Home with Rowan. Oh, Bessie's having lunch together. Look at how serious Taylor is eating her lunch right now in her glasses and hat. I really want both of them to be super hardworking and dedicated. So no time to waste. You are going to go on your cell phone, take a selfie, and then maybe post it. Ooh, she does it right away. Ooh. Can we not get a better background? That. Cute. Okay, then let's post that online. I've never really understood why you have to place them on walls before you can upload it. First video is live and let's upload. Who's watching TV? Oh, Iris is chilling. All right, Iris, you can have the rest of the afternoon off. Maybe I'll get Iris to work out actually. I would imagine she works out. Power sculpting video or plume booba dance. Let's do a plume booba dance. Okay, Nanny Smith here and has Nanny Smith eaten? She made herself coffee. Actually, considering Nanny Smith has a one-star cooking skill and she made excellent eggs and toast, I'm very impressed. Bless her, drinking coffee at 8 p.m., watching TV on her own, except the TV's off. Once Nanny Smith's watched a bit of TV, let's send her to bed. And I don't think Nanny Smith has a job. See, this is exactly what Nanny Smith loves. She likes her own time. She likes watching TV. She likes to knit. All right, it seemed to get dark super quickly here. It's crazy how fast a day can go. What? What is happening? It's so crazy having so many sims to take care of. I don't know how people do it with more than 10. Your hygiene is super low and the kids are starving. Do you guys not have a shower? Your shower's gone. I'm so sorry. Yep, here's your shower. It somehow ended up in your inventory. Somebody also doesn't have a sink because there's a sink here. All right, I found the culprit. It's Shannon. Shannon doesn't have a sink. I can't remember where the sink was. Oh, it must have been there because that's where the drying rack is. Okay, crisis avoided. First, I need to save the Duval family. I love how they've showed up on the doorstep of Granny Smith asking for help, as if Nanny Smith would ever help you. Meanwhile, Annette definitely needs to be cleaning this up. Okay, crisis avoided. They are both eating. Olivier is going for a shower. They live to see another day. By the way, as a recap here, this is Annette's side of the bedroom. Super creative, but messy. And then on the other side, we have Marie, which is still bright and colorful, but in a much more mature way. Okay, we also need to establish Olivier's job. We're thinking he's a script writer for period dramas or documentaries or anything history related. This is his office in his bedroom and this is where his like creative mind slightly lets loose so it's quite scattered, paperwork everywhere, but then of course the rest of his house is quite neat. Okay so what options do we have? Could be writer, author or journalist. Okay could be an author or what is the freelance options that we have? Also a writer. I'm thinking a freelance writer is better. Yeah let's do freelance writer. Check for gigs. Hopefully we can define something more in the like entertainment business. See help our dystopian future would have been ideal. I mean it's obviously future and not history but we can make it work but it requires a level eight writing skill and I don't think Olivier has anything. So let's start with author for void critters. At least it's a book. Challenge accepted. All right that can be our priority for tomorrow but now Olivier you need to go to bed. All right now that it's 2 a.m. let's do an overview of what they're all doing. So grumpy nanny Smith is asleep. Ted Collins is still wandering around. They're eating again. You both need to go to bed. All right, we've just given Taylor an extreme workout and she has just sat on the sofa now with zero hygiene. You have had a long day, Taylor, so you can take a shower and then go to bed. Meanwhile, Iris is already fast asleep. Sharon is out here doing some kind of dance. Sharon, you need to go to bed. Rowan is already asleep, which is sweet. All right, and in the meantime, I can tell you about one of my other favorite households, Amy and Alvin. So Amy Amy and Alvin are performers, they are magicians, and they do have their own magic entertainment room in their apartment, I'll show you in a second. But as you can tell, their style is quirky, fun, it's inspired by all of the travels that they've gone to over the past few years. They are a power team, they call themselves the A-team together, Amy and Alvin. And honestly, I see them as like the happy, bubbly couple in the community. So they're friends with everybody, except for Grumpy Nanny Smith. And exactly as expected, everybody has had an awful neighbor 
neighborhood brawl day. Why is this even a thing? Okay, and here is their entertainment space. So they have a little stage, maybe they record videos for YouTube and TikTok, magic tricks, things like that. And then on this side, this is where they get ready, they store all of their props, paperwork. All right, before they go to bed, I think we need to give them both careers, maybe in the acting industry or as entertainers somehow. All right, here we go. So I feel like we could obviously do actress, but I feel like we should leave that to Sharon. Ooh, entertainer. Yes, musician or comedian. Ooh, I think it's gonna be comedian. Even though they're not comedians, they're actually magicians and impersonators. Yep, let's do it. You can be a comedian, both of them. Let's get you to write jokes. Meanwhile, Alvin here is still trying to cook. It's taken him a good two hours, 6 a.m. and he's finally eating. Okay, Iris is gonna have a quick fruit salad for breakfast and then we're gonna send Iris out to the basketball court, maybe to play with Rowan, who is also awake. Oh my goodness, Rowan's already up and had his breakfast. Let's parent him, encourage recent behavior, encourage doing dishes. So proud of you, Rowan. Oh, yay. Challenge, challenge to hoops competition, Rowan. I think that's kind of sweet that the two of them really like to get on and they bond over sports. Okay, Taylor is up. She's helping herself now to some breakfast. And then let's get her back into the video station. I think she is super hardworking. Um, what was the other, th oh, it wasn't a cheerful vlog. I think it was an angry vlog. I don't want her to do angry vlogs though. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sharon is heading out to go and chat with Grumpy Nanny Smith and that is not what we want to do. So instead, you are coming over here, Sharon, and you are gonna practice acting. And then you know what I think is a sweet Sunday activity? Baking. Maybe something for the community would be so sweet. Let's do sugar cookies. What is going on, Annette again? Oh my goodness, in the same spot. She is so badly behaved. Come on, Olivier, you do not stand for this. I love how he's autonomously going straight to the parenting board. No, 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 you need to discipline strict yell out for making a mess <laughs> come on Olivier come on don't go and hide at the board tell her off yes I don't know if I should have made him do that in a calm way because now he's embarrassed. Good job, Olivier, you did it. And look at Marie putting away the dishes. I don't know yet what both of their kind of traits are, but maybe let's have Marie read some books, clean up books, and then read Lucas Dark and the increasingly unlikely series of coincidences. Sounds familiar. And then I would say Annette is maybe more creative. So let's have you make fall crafts. All right, Olivier, that gives you some time on your own to make some breakfast for everybody or maybe lunch. Hang on, when does Mitch go to work? Join career? Did we not get a job for Mitch? I can't remember. I want by Monday morning all of their careers to be established and they're on the right path. The ones that do get jobs and the ones that don't, we'll just figure it out. Okay, so he is an investigator. So we could either do criminal. No, we don't want criminal. Oh, we could do detective and then do it autonomously. Yeah, let's do detective. I don't know, would you all like us to play with Mitch going to work? The career takes a very long time to play out. It's fun though, I do really enjoy it. Oh, why is Ted sad from gloomy trait? Oh yeah, okay. He relies on Mitch for support. So let's complain about problems, ask for advice, share melancholy thoughts, and become best friends. Sharon is at an audition. Did we miss Sharon's audition? Oh no, we missed it. I don't think I had the option to go with her to the audition though, but she did have comedy level two. Okay, so we'll find out soon how it went. And I just noticed she obviously left mid-baking. Oh, I like seeing them bond. Taylor was supposed to film her video. Did she ever do that? Hang on, I just noticed there's a kid walking through the neighborhood. Yay, Rowan has a friend. <gasps> no. You didn't get the role. The casting director didn't say if it was because of your line reading or because of the fistful of mints you took from the check and death. Sharon! Well, at least Rowan is making a new friend. Meanwhile, Sharon here is just playing Sims to cheer herself up, which I can totally relate to, but we are gonna resume sugar cookies instead. Look at Taylor, already filming videos, but she's wearing pajamas. We're gonna call it Fashion Looks Day Tonight because she's wearing pajamas, literally. There you go, Fashion Looks Day Tonight, sleepwear edition. Olivier seems to be spending a lot lot of time around that parenting board, but not actually putting notes on it. So I'm not too sure what that's about. All right, friends, it is nearing Sunday evening here in Palm Sims, the Outer Circle Apartments. I think this is a good place to leave it. We've just spent the weekend getting our Sims lives established, getting their careers established. Like how beautiful that lighting is. We've given them all careers or the ones that at least have careers and establishing storylines for the ones that don't. And then next episode, we will go in more detail in how their lives interlink and the relationships between them.
Honestly, playing with 10 Sims is kind of stressful, so I'm excited to see what kind of chaos will happen here. Well, thank you so much for watching. That was so much fun and actually my first episode of gameplay on video, so I'm excited to see how it will come together. I have some very exciting new videos planned, including a new series, and I will see you all in my next video.